What's up guys, it's Matt Thomas Jones here, also known as the D365Peak, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the action which is list files in a folder. So what this action allows you to do is this action allows you to specify a folder and then give you uh, all the different uh, files and folders inside of that. So though it says list files, it actually includes folders as well. So let's take a look at it today. So in Power Automate, I have my OneDrive for Business flow here, and I've got a trigger here for when a file is modified in my folder, uh, the Power Automate folder. Um, so you've seen me use this in previous videos, if you've watched any of the previous videos. If not, I just have a folder set up in my OneDrive for Business called Power Automate. Then I'm going to click on New Step. Now I can type into here OneDrive for Business, OneDrive for Business, choose this one. And then we have this option here for list files in a folder. At this point, the only thing it's asking me for is the folder directory. So I could uh, I could put some direct content in here and put the uh, the path, um, or I could just click the uh, the folder here. We go to the root, then we're going to click on um, the arrow, and then we're going to take us to the Power Automate folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to list the files in this folder. So once we're happy with that, we can click on test. Uh, I'll perform the trigger action. We'll save and test. And uh, once it's running, I'll just go and quickly update one of these files, uh, which will trigger the um, trigger the flow. Close that. Open this. We can see the flow run successfully. It's loaded up, and we can see this. So in here, we get some uh, data around the the files and the folders. So if you look at this folder that we are we're specifying, we've got a folder in here called Stop Looping. We've got the fantastic data source, Excel spreadsheet, the PATBD doc, a test file one.txt, and a test image one.jpg. So if we go back to Power Automate, we can see that it's run. The first thing it's found is that stop looping folder. It gives us some information about the folder, its path, its size, when it was last modified. Uh, we also have this, which is really important. The is folder flag is actually set to true, because this is a folder. Uh, we're going to see it was last modified by me, which is all good. If we scroll down a bit further, we get the fantastic data source Excel spreadsheet, and we can go down here a bit further and we can see the is folder is set to false. So this is going through all of the files and folders inside here, and it's going to tell you what is a file, what's a folder. So you could then use this to output something else. So you could count the number of items in here and output that as a number. You could use these to go right on a list of files in the folder. Then I'm going to filter out anything that's not a, a, a Word document, and then we're going to do something with that. So there's loads of great potential for what you could use this for. Uh, I think this is a great um, this is a great action, uh, and something I'll probably use a lot for when I'm like moving files around and checking files and checking folders and things like that, uh, helping me get certain things and then move move data around, which is really cool. But as always, I'd like to know what you guys use this for, so let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.